Welcome to Wesley's channel, this is Wesley and it is Wesley's news. Привет всем, witam serdecznie wszystkich. I would like to introduce to you the subject of today's video. It is about pretty much known individual. He's an Arab from Iran. Before that, I would like to say that I am very much positive approach people person. I see value in people despite race, language, beliefs, orientations. There are plenty of good people in the world. I'm gonna say a few words in Arabic now. Marhaba. Bah. Al-Katir. Mit al-Amin. Men. Al-Arab. Wa biddat. Wa Saudiya. Ahtaram hum. Kathiran. Huna. Men. Al-Nas. Kuwaisin. Wuyujat. Men. Al-Nas. Asriyin. Fikal. Dola. Fi. Al-Alam. Atmanna. Asalam. Lakam. Meharant of a coil cash. Material taken from cash factory, the corporate platinum. Slash to sixteen, slash eleven, slash twenty one, slash cash wiki. It was not my opinion. Meharant of a coil cash was born in nineteen fifty eight. He's an Iranian inventor, businessman, author of claims. He has a cash foundation registered in as Stitching in Netherlands. Currently, it is located in Brescia, Italy. Well, it's not located. Obviously, he is right now in Dubai, at least, what I was told, hunted by a number of authorities. Kesha was born as a son of wealthy parents in 1958. He made a number of inventions, never got a patent, transportation system using gravitational fields, uh, a reactor that is supposed to work with radioactive material that is controlled by magnetic fields, scalar magnetic wheels. He was charging 20,000 euros per year for educating so-called knowledge seekers. In 2011, Kesha claimed that US drone over Iran was brought down by the use of his technology. So today I have a device story originates from Japan, elderly man, over 90, who was approached by one of my friends in Japan. He's got a story. When gentleman was 84, Kesha approached him and later on Kesha appears with his own device that was actually built by Japanese man. Japanese man didn't look for the money didn't care about any money. However, he said that he has in his position 25 kilowatt device as well. The device that I have on my table was given to my friend for free and brought to US. 14 and a half watts, 1500 lumens, made in China, 220 volts, 60 hertz. 193.2 uh, milliamps. Checking accuracy of the watt meter. 123.6 volts. 13.9 watts. More accurate reading. 13.69. Power factor good only for sinusoidal waves. 0.46. I'm volts. using only calibrated traceable to the bureau instruments. Fit one lead of the load to the voltmeter. Another lead of the volt is co connected to the common of the amp meter. And another wire from the amp meter says 0 0.0 amp maximum. Is connected to light. The voltage shows 123.8. The current drawn by the load 195 milliamps. The power shown 14 watts. The more accurate reading power times 10 shows 13.73. However, it shows me input overload, but it's not critical. The power factor, which is good only for sinusoidal waves, 0.464. For me, Kesha is a scumbag, a filthy bastard. He happened to be Arab from Iran, the most disgusting creature I ever heard of. And that's my personal opinion. So now we have uh, both the multimeter and the device. I'm putting the light bulb here on the table. And let's plug the power. Oops, let's switch it off. Okay, 
Let's put it aside. Let's see what we have. The device is working, the light bulb is full brightness. It shows 122.1 volts on this meter, but this is regular multimeter. 123.6 on Clark Hess. Let's go to the current. The current shows 191 milliamps. Model 255 Clark has two of them. This one is connected to the load, the light bulb. And it appears that the voltage current and the power drawn by the light bulb is higher than the, the voltage current and power drawn by the whole assembly light bulb and the device that is measured on this Clark has that is before the device right where the power is delivered to the device however the difference is only one percent let's go to power 14.1 let's go to power times 10 more accurate 13.93 let's go to power factor 0.468 as I said in my personal opinion Keshe is a bullshitter is a piece of garbage a trash however we don't care what technology come from as long as it work and perform and makes happy so this particular time I had no idea what is inside of the device that's why I was trying to find out as much as possible I'm gonna prepare the setup for second device which is exactly the same now we have a second clock has this is the voltmeter this is the amp meter the voltage we're gonna choose 200 volts and the current we're gonna use 500 milliamps maximum the difference between this clock has is that this one has internally connected commons between voltmeter and amp meter so I don't have to use the jumper as I did in the previous one I'm gonna put the output to the instrument and find out what do we have this is face switch the light on checking the other one no face so the longer one is face from the grid we have a 13.75 of what from the light bulb we have a 13.86 so it looks like we have over unity one percent one percent but yeah. we need more to be significant in physics something like that is impossible impossible yes it, it so should they, not it should not happen so people we're gonna resist us to the most extent that they can do it the the saving on the on on the on the grid is not significant but it is still the the light bulb is taking by itself more power than the device and the light bulb together and that's, yes so this we, is still, we still we still we still draw for 13.74 from the grid we still do that so i'm, I'm repeating the question again is there any way to figure out if this device is feeding back to grid? Yes. So how can we do that? How can we measure it? I need to purchase uh, uh, the regular mechanical meter with the wheel on it. Is it? Yeah. It is not moving it is because LED is not strong okay. enough. Okay, oh, that's what I'm saying. We need a stronger LED. Now we, we put the resistive load. Make sure that we have it right here. Okay, right in, in the middle, that's 60 watts, it's moving this way, 
right? Yes. But we still have a device connected. No, we're disconnecting the device. The Lord is here or there is the same. Look, 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 it's going the, the other way. Yes. Strangely enough. <laughs> Basically, can you hook this off? First of no, 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 no. We just directly from no, here yeah, to this, yeah, this yeah, to this, this to this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't know yet nothing. We just think what we think. Okay, make sure. 60 watts. Yes, it's moving. It's moving. Ah, it should be LED. Hold on. Yes, yeah, it's moving. This is what the guy says. It should be non resistive mode. Yeah, I understand, but uh, 60 watts. Put the LED again, well, we need stronger LED. We're gonna go to Home Depot together. Okay, can you put this on? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Now it's moving. Now it's moving. And see the speed of movement? Yes. You see the speed of movement? Yes. Now look at it, that. I'm gonna put directly 60 watts here. It is going backwards. Where is it? Can you see that? When you hook off. Wait, wait, wait. It's feeding the grid. It's moving backwards. Okay, let's see. Without any load. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Now let, let, I'm connecting directly. Or is it moving the same way? Yes. It is. What is the speed? I don't know the speed, where is it? Yeah, but look, do you see the speed here? Yes. Do you see that, that speed? And now put that speed here. As it is feeding back to grid, can you see this? No, no, no. I mean, before no, no, no. we go, we go. Before we go. Yeah, this is more this way, right? Yeah. yeah. Take that off. Leave anything no load, right? When there's no load, it is feeding back itself. Okay. As the guy says. Okay, hold on. When there is no load, it's feeding back. <laughs> see that? It's turning backwards. Oh, oh this look. Understand? This is exactly what the guy is saying. Okay, now I switch that to less accurate, but okay, 55. 55.3 watts, okay. 55.4. Okay, now. Fifty-five point eight. Yeah, it is doing fifty-five point eight. Yeah, same thing is doing. 55.3, 55.5.8. Again, 1% up. Yeah, 55.9, 55.3. 3. 1% exactly. Current is almost the same. For, for, uh, 466 milliamps, 460. Current is the same almost. Even that, that is higher, the other one. The grade is higher for some reason. Or maybe same. 460, 462. Uh, it's changing, it's not steady. It's not steady. So this 463. Is not yeah, it's almost the same. Almost the same. The current That's is same. almost the same, so let's go to the voltage. There must be something with the voltage there. Voltage okay, we have one, 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 one point two. Uh, Okay, we have one volt more on on the light bulb. Yes. Okay, so one volt more on the light bulb with the same current gives you more power taken from by the light bulb. Yes. But still, you have to pay for for, for that what is for, on the grid. Yes. Let's break it. Break it with the hammer or something. Yeah, the. No, the hammer. Maybe the not. Kesha, Kesha right. device. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hope there's nothing radioactive inside. No. Oh. Okay, hold it. Oh, it is a little, let's, let's do it like that. I have. This is pretty, tools for it. pretty, pretty heavy thing. This is the secret inside. Yes. yes. <laughs> what, what kind of secret did he make? A yeah, small butter, maybe. <laughs> lithium ion. Lithium <laughs> ion. <laughs> okay, taram. Taram, taram. Taram, this side. Rusted. Yeah, it smells. Okay, three rusted coils, rusted right. wire. That's it. That's it. The oh. heat sensor. Right? Yeah, the what? heat sensor. See this? This stuff is a heat sensor from the heat detector. 
Uh, we have well, a, how much is this device? Is that is are they selling? Two uh, two thousand dollars, I believe. Yeah, well, what's selling. the purpose of this device? Well, it's supposed to be free energy device of Mr. Kesha. Two wires, no polarity. We have a heat sensor in here, so if the temperature is too big, the heat sensor pops out. We have wire, one wire that is going to. What's inside? Okay. Paper. Now, paper. Now what is inside? Those paper, they don't get burned out? Well, that's interesting because this acts as a capacitor. In other words, that paper that is here, uh -huh. beautiful, okay. Well, normally it should be burned out, right? No, it's not, because uh, there might be a, a very special cache paper. Look. There's some more rust inside, it looks like it's a copper yeah. powder or something. Yeah, it's a powder, inside is a powder. I have EDXRF under the dispersive X-ray spectroscopy. I can find out what the heck Mr. Kesha put in here. Energy dispersive X-ray spectroscopy EDXRF can see all of periodic table components of any matter, even dirt taken from the street, and find out what is there. Now those capacitors appears to be made out of rusty wire outside, piece of paper with some kind of powder in it, and two wires. No. The wire used by Mr. Kesha is a regular copper wire that was chemically rusted, seasoned. The mixture is available on the internet. I'm not gonna even go to the bullshit story and waste my time. But capacitors appear to be a valid capacitors where insulation is the paper with the copper powder and dry liquid. That fork represents two capacitors connected together in parallel. Okay. Okay. So this is quickly how it was before, although not necessarily exactly the same way. Okay, we have a presence of some strange crystal here. Looking crystal here. So each one has that strange looking crystal. We have three coils here. It appears to be that each coil is made from specially rusted wire, and there are two wires, two wires from each one of the coils. Typical heat detector from the smoke detector. Uh, the hot wire is connected this wire, dual capacitor with the sound of some of strange paper inside, that's the paper, and uh, connected in parallel and then follows to, to another wire and then we see sloppy made connection to one wire of the double coil. It appears that one wire goes to this coil, returns from, we take positive from the input and uh, then we have again four wires coming from each one of them to heat detector from the heat detector immediately I word positive immediately I described is connected this. to those two capacitors in parallel I think this is something visible and comes back comes back to the brown wire and that's the brown wire going to the output. Okay, so the brown wire, the brown wire goes to one of the pins here, and that's the hot one. And let's put the wires back. Uh, it's a nice block. Nice block. Okay, that's it. The Mr. Kesha is not having for me any credibility at his scientific level. There we go. Guys. Well, it looks like, again, something that has uh, some colorization from inside. And that's what you see on the top of it. It's a glue. It's a silicone. Okay, there you go.
we have a hole in here and I gotta be careful because I see a liquid and it looks like the powder or something is inside that liquid. So for me, cashier device is a bullshit. You draw 10 watts out of the grid, you saving one watt, but you still have to pay for the remaining nine watts. And then it was closed. With this stuff. With the other stuff. Some kind of cashier magic. So it's a magic cashier bullshit. No radiation, no scientific basis, some balls, some liquids, some paper. He was selling it for two thousand dollars per piece to hundreds of thousands of people. What the freaking Iranian scammer. It was quite a work to make this video. Please put a like on it if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. I don't have a commercial on it. This is Wesley and it was Wesley's News. See you in next video.